for the sign of Leo. Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on, which is what the word president's for. Then we'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Leo, in the recent past, we got this hermit card, and it's with the world card. Now, the hermit card, it's an extremely spiritual card. And it could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank into a, an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card. You might have felt like you were in the frame of mind that you needed some time alone. So don't be afraid to take it, even if it was just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Also, this hermit card is about trying very hard to do the right thing. But you would need to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, the Hermit card is paired with the World card, which is about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so just don't quit now because you're so close. You're almost in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation, but don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're probably working too hard for far too little recognition and money. So, it's going to be important for you to toot your own horn just to make sure that the powers that be did not accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments in the recent past. So, they help. In the recent past, like I said, got the Hermit and it's clarified with the World card. So what I'm showing is that you closed a chapter with someone. Could have been a love interest, could have been a someone, or could have been a situation. But for most of you, it was a love interest, a lover. You figured it was time to end that journey, complete the chapter. It's about completion, closure. So you close the cycle. And you close the cycle with someone. And it took you in the hermit mode after you realized what you did. You probably couldn't believe it. For some of you, it probably took... A long time to end this, end this journey with whoever this was. So you went into hermit mode. You just wanted to be alone. And you wanted to get rid of baggage. And just clear your mind. Relationships, after you close the cycle with this person, it's showing that relationships, they were not a priority for you. You just wanted to be to yourself. So yeah, it was closure. You finally got the closure that you needed. In the recent past so let's move on over let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the present time the very end of september five of swords and four of pinnacles now the five of swords you could find that you got some mixed feelings about life or maybe somebody or a few people but don't ignore these feelings but make sure you don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling either because that, that could ruin the very things that you want the most such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, your lover. So with the five, five of Swords, you got to make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. Now, it's with the Four of Pentacles, which can be about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. So when you get this card in a reading, it's a sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Yeah, this card does point to anxiety and fear. Could be about money or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So you have to realize that being anxious and grasping like this, it does not bring security. So, with these two cards paired together, Five of Swords, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. 
Well, Leo, it looks like some of you are still, you've closed the chapter on this person. In the recent past, you did that, but they still, it looks like they're still clinging on. Yeah, they're still clinging on to this connection. They're having a hard time letting it go. Yeah, what's, what, um, the problem with that is this unhealthy clinging that they can't let, let, let the connection go. It's just making them angry. Yeah, you see how this man, the, in the Five of Swords, um, Five of Swords is a card above the word present. He's got five swords. He's got three at his, on the ground, and then he's got two in his hand. So this man is running around ready to cut off anybody's head. And he'll pick up the other three swords and use them if he has to. This man is really pissed. Yeah. So your person, whoever you close a chapter with, they've got mixed feelings. They're upset. They're angry. And they're ready to fight. This part of swords is about conflict. So you, this person is clinging on. They're not ready to close the chapter. And it's unhealthy. Because you you made up your mind, it looks like. But they still hold on really tight. They're resistant. They're resistant. Resistant to this change. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the tower and six of cups. Now, this tower, it's about trying to hold too tightly, maybe to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's about rolling with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic. Because everyone knows change, it's the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. But that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Now, that's a little bit about the tower. Now, it's paired with a Six of Cups, which is a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then what will happen is it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, Leo, the challenge, the tower, and it's clarified with the Six of Cups. So, like I said, your person, they don't want this closure. They don't want it to end. They're running around. They're running around pissed, mad, and angry. But it falls apart anyway. It comes crashing down. This person is being nostalgic. They're holding on to a lot of the happy memories that the two of you had. Yeah, they don't want to let go of the familiar. You didn't want to let you go, Leo. You're familiar and they got a lot of happy memories with you. But it looks like it comes crashing down anyway. Yeah, so it's falling apart or it has it has fallen apart and with the tower you do get enlightened by this disaster so maybe your person is they'll be waking up eventually but right now they they don't want to see it they don't want to see the closure so that was the challenge now let's move on over and see what the outcome is without the star card and we got the death card. Now the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You'll feel more confident that your needs are met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. They're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but 
it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This can be a very spiritual card. You could find yourself feeling at least four times at one with all the creation. And like I said, it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Star card is with the death card. Just keep in mind, death, the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicates physical death. Okay? In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. It's likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Just know that this transition, it can be very difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So the outcome, the star clarified by the death card. So, like I said, with the tower showing up here, it, it comes crashing down. Maybe your person tries to make it right or fix it, fix whatever was broken, but it falls apart and they're stuck with their happy memories of you and the connection. And you go on feeling like a star. You're feeling hopeful finally about the future. You finally feel rejuvenated because it, it actually ended with the tower here and the death card here. With the death card, you've come to a conclusion. You've lost interest. And there's an ending. Yeah, so like I said, the transition can be difficult for some people, but it's, it's a needed transition. Um... With the death card, you're probably no longer the same person that you were when you two first met. And they're probably a different person also. Because the death card is about deep transformation and change. So your life is also more than likely going to change in a big way. I don't know if you've been with this person for a long time. But you've closed the chapter you completed a cycle could have been long time cycle or short term cycle but yeah you got a lot of well you got two ending cards well kind of three world tower and death so for a lot of you leos this is this is it yeah you got three ending cards here and, like I said, one of them is a closure, ending a cycle. So, the good thing about it is that um, you got the star card here. So, if you don't feel rejuvenated and hopeful about the future that you have in a while, you got to be feeling that way soon. Yeah, the star card is a very inspiring car, card in the tarot. It also indicates that any grief of the past, guess what? It's released. It's gone. So you're no longer holding on the, to this connection. You've come to a conclusion. And your person, it probably will take them some time. So that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, 